It's it, <laughs> how, it, 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 it's by me, the way. Hey, it's me, Matt, and Bobby. I, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> Oh, look at that face. No, we've got to zoom into that one. We've got to zoom into that one. We have to zoom in. Holy smokes, Brendan Shaw. What are you doing to your face, bro? That has to be Botox, isn't it? That's got to be fillers. It's got to be something. What the fuck is this man doing to his face? What is he doing? What is he doing here? Look at that. Look at that. Look, sir. Look. What is that face, bro? That looks like he's wearing a face on top of a face. Legit, legit, native style. You know what I mean? Like, you know, what's that? Uh, scalping and fake, like, like putting it on top of his face. Or, you know, that Odd Future. Was it Odd Future? Tyler Creator's got that scene in his video where he's wearing, like, a face on top of a face. Do you remember that? Is it, is it a thing? Or, or, am I, or am I bugging out? Let's see if I can find it. Uh, it's like in the video. It's like he, he cut. Yeah, I think it might be that one. Like this. There we go. You see this? Do you remember this? Like that kind of thing. Okay, it's that video. <laughs> it's like that. That sort of like weird rubbery type of face thing he's got going. Yeah, on this one. This, there you go. Who that boy as well. See? It's like that kind of thing. God almighty. Yeah, Simon. Yeah, exactly. Simon Cowell's a good one. Let's see that one. Simon Cowell's face is... That's, he's got the similar sort. Yeah, that's true. He's got Simon Cowell face, hasn't he? That's the one. Simon Cowell face. Look at this. Yeah, he's got Simon Cowell, doesn't he? That is so correct, Brian. Holy smokes. I didn't see that before. He has Simon Cowell face. Oh, let's move that. Why does it keep doing that for? I keep moving the wrong bit of the screen. Let's move the chat over here. Look. He's got Simon Cowell face, in it? That is mad. They basically look the same. They basically look the same. Where is it? Where is the fucking thing? Uh, yeah, this is the one. They basically look the same. No? Don't they look the same, basically? Shit, that is shocking, isn't it? They basically look the same. Don't get me wrong, he kind of looks Asian as shit here as well. You know that joke? Asian as shit. He looks Asian as shit here. But, god damn it, mate. They look legitimately identical. It's absolutely crazy. So it's definitely, what do you, what people think here? Is it filler or is it Botox? Or is it just whiskey? Because this is for sure, I think he said it himself. He said it already, yeah, he said it, yeah. But, um... He said he, you think he went a bit too over the top with his filler. I think he said it. I think he mentioned. There we go. Here, right? Yeah. From surgery rumors to vegan diet. Really? No. Metro's got a paywall, so I'm not going to play. So it's that. Jesus Christ. Simon Cow, man. He's got Simon Cow, such a good, like, decent base. Why did he. This is the thing, though. Like, um, this is one of the issues that I feel sensitive about or I have compassion for. Because I feel like there's nothing worse than. Um, what's that word called? Um, I forgot what the word is, there's a term for it, where how you view yourself. But no one can really help you in that regard. How you view yourself is how you're ever always going to view yourself. So maybe when Simon Cowell looked in the mirror, he legitimately thought he looked ugly. He legitimately thought he needed work to be done. And there was no thing that was going to stop him. And he went the way that he went. When really and truly, he's a handsome, good looking older dude. Do you know what I mean? There's nothing wrong with him whatsoever. Zero. But for whatever reason, um, yeah, body dysmorphia, that's the one I'm calling it. Like body dysmorphia, when you've got that, there's nothing no one can, no convincing would ever convince you out of getting whatever work you, you think you, you're convinced you need to be done. It's really bad. It's really sad, man. I have a lot of sympathy for it. I really do because the guy looked like a good looking, handsome, rich, older dude, right? A random dude that you would allegedly, you know, a kind of the, the, the face of somebody that you would in you you will kind of imagine to meet in the music industry right entertainment kind of industry type person and if for whatever reason like someone like this for sure i think he could have benefited from if simon cow just said i'm gonna commit to working out a bunch doing jujitsu or something or getting into fucking cycling or running and then he grew himself a nice beard like he's got there and kept himself trained and had a good tan he'd look amazing he didn't need to do all this stuff do you know what i mean but whatever reason you know you get this thing in your head that you need to do it i think he did a couple of stuff with his brows probably because he didn't like how his lids were but he looks completely fine there's nothing nothing wrong with it whatsoever and that's the issue with body dysmorphia also i think they say a lot i think plastic surgeons say it right plastic surgeons always say people always come back they say that you know, someone's always going to come back because once you get one thing done you're always going to see other things. So it's never just one thing. It's always the other thing. It's always like, if you saw the nose, it might be the brow, then it's going to be the lips. So it's always something. So he didn't need to, he didn't need that at all. You know what I mean? A good, a, a good diet, um, a good trendy haircut, um, some nice, you know, maybe, maybe it's a bits of jewelry or some other bits and bobs. You would have been completely fine. But you know, 
boy this small fit is what it is but at least he admits it because i think i think he owns up to it and says yeah that did happen look at this picture here that's a good looking dude man don't get me wrong he hasn't completely ruined his face i don't think so i still think there's a you know there's still hope that he can still pull it back a bit but look at that look how well good looking he was there on the, on the left when he wasn't you know getting any work done whatsoever like he looks fine do you know what i mean but for whatever reason the brian the brendan thing is like he doesn't even admit it like jesus christ a stand-up comedian as well like maybe it's more it makes more sense if you're simon cow because you're like a you know what i mean you're on tv you're doing flipping normie general public stuff you're in hollywood you're in the, the real heart of the entertainment industry fair enough the pressures get to you but a stand-up comedian no one's there to see you for your looks anyway they did to see how funny you are, really. If you happen to be handsome as hell, you know, t on the side, fair enough. Cool, that's going to be an added bonus. But no one really cares what you look like. What's the pressure coming from? Where's this lack of self-esteem coming from? Especially for somebody that, you know, is so against mental health. He has so many weird things to say about mental health. He's somebody that loves to go in as if like he's some weird super solid alpha that doesn't ever suffer things or feel sad or feel bad. Hate doesn't get to him. No comments get to him. So why are you doing Botox? Why are you flipping, puffing up your face for? Why are you doing these things? Who are you trying to counteract? Please, someone tell me. Who? 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 Someone tell me. Bloody hell, man. These people. These people. Crazy, isn't it? Like he looks wild in the face. Legit wild in the face legit wild in the face but hey what can you do um him laughing <laughs> to him, bro. It's like, jesus christ where is it how long is that clip to go look at that face jesus christ Brendan. <laughs> look what you're doing to yourself man by the way I, I i took i took time for mental health and you got a new fucking podcast host that's yeah. literally that already happened yeah <laughs> that's happened before oh i know theo so watch yourself all right yeah i gotta <laughs> This, no. yeah. this, 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 yeah, this mental health, man. I'm yeah. just losing guys left and right. Bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, but anyways, I'm the one constant. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. good, good. Yeah, the one constant, but then you're throwing you all away for Chris D'Elia. I just don't understand that, man. I really don't get that. He must, he must really love Chris D'Elia, but he does, though, innit? Because think about it. The guy cried like he's never cried before on a pod ever when he, when Chris D'Elia originally got cancelled. He was sobbing, like legit sobbing, right? I can't talk. Legit sobbing. More so than anything else happening in his life, he was sobbing. He didn't even cry on camera for the friend that, you know, allegedly self-expired. He didn't cry about that, but he sobbed uncontrollably on the podcast with, about Chris Leo. So clearly he loves that man, like loves him to his core. Um, so it makes sense why he would be willing to throw his, or put his entire future of his family in jeopardy uh, because of this guy. And it would make complete sense. It does make complete sense. But Jesus Christos.